Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and since you're looking at my face, you probably know it's time for math, right? So we're gonna do chapter two, lesson 12 in your Go Math book, that's listed there. And um, we're gonna check out a story about gigabytes in a computer, which I never seem to have enough of. So maybe I need to upgrade like this girl in the story problem. So her name is Chris Mari, and we're gonna be reading about her computer and how many gigabytes she has. now. Gigabytes are um, a word you're probably familiar with, but you probably call them gigs, right? They're the same thing, gigabytes and gigs. Okay, so here we go. Chris Mari's computer has three hard drives with 64 gigabytes of space in each, and two hard drives with 16 gigabytes of space each. The files on her computer use 78 gigs of space. How much hard drive space does her computer have left? Okay, you probably need to hit pause and read that again or go in your Go Math book and read that again because that was a lot of information. So I've already read this twice to myself, so that was my third time reading it. So make sure you stop, get the picture in your head. You have to make the picture in your head of what you're actually trying to solve. Okay, so I'm ready and I think I'm gonna use a model for this one because there's so much information in here and I like to model with mathematics. So um, I'm just gonna kind of read briefly again. Okay, so three hard drives, 64 gigabytes of space in each. Okay, so three hard drives, I'm gonna draw, I think I'm just gonna draw a bar model and then cut it into three sections and write 64, 64, 64. Okay, so three hard drives, 64 gigabytes in each, right? So I had to put it in each one. Okay, now there's also two hard drives with 16 gigs um, of space in each one. So I also need um, 16 gigs to go into two hard drives. Okay, so I have that laid out. All right, I think I actually wanna figure out how what I have going on here before I even do the other part because then I'm just gonna feel like my brain is exploding. <laughs> so let's figure it out. So 64 three times would be, let's check it out, 64 times three. Um, four times three is 12. And 60 times 3 is 180. And I'm just going to add those together. So this piece right here is 192. Okay, now I'm going to figure out 16 and 16. So I actually know 15 and 15 make 30. So 16 and 16 must make 32. I'm gonna guess a lot of you probably could do mental math strategies on that one too, but if you wanna see it written out here, let's do it. 16 times two. Six times two is 12. 10 times two is 20. Add those partial products together and you get 32. Told ya. <laughs> All right, so let's find out some more. I'm gonna um, erase my work here, make myself some room. Okay, so let's stop and think. What do we know now? This piece is 192 and this piece is 32. Do we know how much it is all together yet? Well, we don't know yet, but could we figure it out? We could. So 192 plus 32, two plus two is four, Nine plus three. Or really 90 plus 30, right? So 90 plus 30 is 120, otherwise known as 12 tens. And one plus one is two. Okay, so this whole thing right here is worth 224. So I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 224. Okay. So now I know in Chris Marzi's computer, she has 224 gigs of space total. All right, so I'm gonna actually put a little um, 
what's the word just flew out of my head. I'm going to put a little label. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put a label here saying, um, total gigs. Okay. Cause we're not done yet. All we've done is this part here. What else do we need to do? So you probably need to stop and read the story again. Cause I know I do. So if I do, you probably do too. Okay, so her files on her computer use 78 gigs of space. So in this 224, 78 of it is used up. So 224 minus 78 gigs that are used up. Okay, so we know we're gonna be doing four minus eight and that would give us a negative number, so we're going to just borrow a 10 from over here. So that's going to become a 1, and this is going to be 14 minus 8, and 14 minus 8 is 6. All right, now we've got 1 minus 7. Again, that would give us a negative number, so I'm going to cross off my 2 in the hundreds place. I'm going to take 100 and move it over here. So I have 11 minus 7. Now that's 11 tenths minus 7 tenths, right? So that would give us what? Four tens left. And then we still have 1 minus nothing is 1. Okay, so Chris Marzi's computer has 146 gigs of space available. Okay, so here's the moral of this story. You got a lot of information, it really helps to model with mathematics, right? So use a bar model, do it step by step, and use, don't forget the word like I did, use labels. So we know for sure her computer had 224 total gigs, but we were just trying to find out how much hard drive space does her computer have left. So we know that she has 146 gigs of space available. And labeling saves lives. Don't forget that, kids. Make sure you label. All right, see you next time. Bye.